The clock is ticking. The race to contain the worst effects of climate change is on. Decisions made in 2030 won't matter. The tipping point will have been passed. Acting slowly will be the same as losing. We have to stop burning fossil fuels. We have to decarbonize our societies. To decarbonize and improve quality of life, Europe must become an electric economy. We are already making big changes through the adoption of more renewable energy, adoption of electric vehicles and cleaner, more efficient heating systems. In order to achieve our goal of decarbonization, Europe needs to rethink the design of our electrical infrastructure. Increased storage such as battery storage and power to X, where excess renewables generation are used to charge these storage solutions, will have a big role to play in decarbonizing. To meet Europe's 2050 Paris Climate Agreement goals, Europe must reduce its emissions by at least 80%. This is a collective challenge. To address it, we need a collective solution. It is a challenge without borders. It needs an answer that crosses borders. However, we need a pan-European approach which takes advantage of the diversity of resources and needs across the continent. Europe's best wind resources are found offshore in the peripheries of the continent, and its best solar resources are found in the south. Developing wind in other areas outside of the North Sea, such as the Atlantic coast, Baltic Sea and Mediterranean Sea, along with developing large-scale solar in Southern Europe, means that when the wind isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining in one area, renewable sources in other areas can compensate. How does a Europe, where demand has doubled, tap into the resources at the peripheries of the continent and bring this power to the demand centres in an efficient and cost-effective manner? Just building today's planned infrastructure, especially interconnectors between country networks, will not be enough to support this increased demand. Introducing the Supergrid. The supergrid will act as a collector network which will 1. Collect energy from the peripheries of Europe 2. Connect the areas of high renewable resource 3. Route the power to demand centres through the network The key piece of technology which is instrumental in the supergrid is the supernode The supernode will act as a collector station for multiple offshore wind farms or large-scale solar farms and transmit this energy around Europe and into a country's national grid. The supergrid will strengthen and develop the renewable industry in Europe, open new areas for renewable energy development that were previously economically unviable to develop, improve transmission capacity of power between countries, and most importantly, allow Europe to power itself using carbon-free energy. But none of this will be possible if we continue on our current path. We need to plan for an electrified future with double our current electrical demand. The supergrid is the only way to achieve this electrified and carbon-free Europe, and one which allows us to lead the way in tackling climate change. <laughs>